over to you, Carden. The next one will be study the cartoon below and answer the questions that follow. It says here, what a surprise. Oh, so it probably means people were not expecting that move. Um, no, no, no increase in income tax of that. Oh, so this, the budget speech is being presented and everyone is happy. And then all of a sudden we have fuel levies and syntax gone up. And then that's where the what a surprise thing is coming from. All right, identify two indirect taxes in the cartoon above. So again, I think you can see that each time we have this topic, public sector, uh, it's common that they ask direct and indirect taxes. So make sure you always have examples in your head, which ones are direct, which ones are indirect. Name the fiscal instrument represented. Okay, it's simple, that'll be tax. Because we have two, the other one is uh, government spending. So nothing says government spending in this cartoon, so that'll be tax. What is the surprise? I've mentioned already. The Minister of Finance did, did not increase any income tax and VAT as expected, but the impact of the increase in fuel levy and excise duties were to such an extent that it made up for not increasing income tax and VAT. So it's like you didn't, but you did. That's why the what a surprise, that's where it's coming from. In your opinion, why did the Minister of Finance decide to keep income tax and VAT at the same level? Okay, due to the to, to increased income tax in 2014-15, he didn't want to overburden the taxpayer. To, so what it means is uh, it was increased before and so now already the taxpayer is paying a lot so increasing it will be overburdening them. To prevent a negative reaction from the labor force which is um, constantly demanding higher wages. Uh, also think about the Laffer curve. Uh, you know, you know the effect is, you know, uh, so if you increase, it might actually result to a decrease in um, as, as the labor force becomes, uh, you know, a negative. Uh, okay, let's say they start quitting their jobs or something like that. That as a progressive type of tax remained, remained the same to prevent the poor from becoming poorer. Because this one you cannot... Uh, not progressive, regressive, because huh, I'm I'm confusing myself. Because when I read as progressive, it didn't make sense. Because VAT actually is not progressive. Everyone is paying the same fifteen percent. They you cannot distinguish the rich and the poor from that. Uh, if we all buy milk and VAT is fifteen percent, we are all going to pay fifteen. So it cannot really be progressive. Uh, to prevent loss of income through tax evasion and dis, um, disincentive to work. Right, to stimulate consumer spending and economic growth. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.